Hello everyone and welcome back to Unbound Learners Pre-K. My name is Nina. What's your name? It's so nice to meet you. All right, it's time to sing our good morning song together. So let's stretch our arms out like airplane wings and fly our airplane to one side, fly to the other side, fly to the middle, and now take those airplane wings into a big circle out in front of us like this and bring that circle up over your head. Stretch from one side, stretch over to the other side. One last stretch up at the top before we bring our circle back down. And now it's time to sing together. Are you ready? Good morning, dear earth. Good morning, dear sun. Good morning, dear rocks and flowers, everyone. Good morning, dear beast and birds in the trees. Good morning to you and good morning to me. Good morning, friends. I hope that you're having a wonderful day so far. So before we get started, let's quickly turn on our listening ears. We're going to put on our thinking hats next. My thinking hat is over here. I'm going to put it on top of my head. Today my thinking hat has a big ribbon, so I'm going to tie it up into a bow. And the third and final thing that we need to do is warm up our hearts, like this. Boom, 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 boom. So let's double check. Our listening ears are on, our thinking hats are on, and our hearts are warmed up. Boom, 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 boom. And before we get started with the calendar and weather chart, I just want to say a special good morning to Otto from Sydney, Australia. Thank you for watching my Circle Time videos, Otto, and I hope that you have a wonderful day. All right, friends, let me grab my pointing stick. I'm going to bring it up to the top, right up here. We have the month. Do you remember what this new month is called? May! That's right, the month is May. Today is May 5th. So I'm going to move the chip over from yesterday. Yesterday was May 4th. Today is May 5th, 2021. Or you can also say that the year is 2021. Will you say the date with me one more time? Today is May 5th, 2021 or 2021. Both ways to say the year are correct. All right, friends, let's hold up our seven fingers. We're going to sing the Days of the Week song. If you know the words, you can sing along with me. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I'm going to travel down to the bottom of the chart. This says that yesterday was, here's your clue, t Tuesday. Yesterday was Tuesday. So that means that today is what? Wednesday. Today is Wednesday and tomorrow will be Thursday. Let's go back to today and let's sing today is Wednesday together. Are you ready? Today is Wednesday, today is Wednesday, today is Wednesday all day long. Today is Wednesday, today is Wednesday, today is Wednesday all day long. Let's go back up to the top of the chart, right up here where we have the season. Do you know what the season is? Spring, that's right. It's springtime where I live, friends. And now, if we travel back down to the bottom of the chart, that means that it's time to sing the weather song together. Are you ready? What's the weather, what's the weather, can you tell? Can you tell? Is the sun shining? Is the rain falling? Can you tell? Can you tell? So it looks like my picture is another rainy day. 
When I look outside right now, the sky is all dark and gray and the rain is falling again. Yesterday, I got to see the sun for a little bit, but it looks like it's back to a rainy day. My temperature chart is right between light blue and orange. It's a little bit cool, but not quite warm. What's the weather like where you live, friends? Look outside your window and let me know what you see. Thanks for sharing with me. And now let's move on to the letter, the number, and the sign of the week. Do you remember what sound this letter makes? Qu. Can you make that sound with me? Qu. This is a lowercase q, and q says qu. And now let's take a look and see what's inside of the letter box today. It's something that starts with the letter qu, q. Here's your first clue. This is something that you ask somebody and then they respond with an answer. Do you know what that could be? What is it called when you ask someone something? A question. When you want to know something, you ask somebody a question and they respond with an answer. Question starts with the letter qu, q. This is how you write a lowercase qu, q. One more time. And now let's move on to the number of the week. This week, we have been talking all about this double digit number. Do you know what number this is? 22. And when you write the number 22, you write this number two times. Can you show me with your fingers what number this is? Two. Two, two, 22. Let me grab my piece of chalk, and if you want to draw 22 tally marks with me, you can get something to write with. If not, you can just count along with me. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five goes across, six, seven, eight, nine, ten goes across, eleven, twelve, thirteen, 14, 15 goes across, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 goes across, 21, 22, 22 tally marks. And let me open up the number box and see what we have inside to count today. I have 22 of these small rocks. Do you remember what we call a small rock? A pebble. So let's make sure that I have them all. Sometimes they like to hide in the corners of the box. So I am going to make two rows of 10. Are you ready to count with me? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So here's one row of ten, and now let's make another row of ten. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. And we have 21 and 22, 22 pebbles. So we've gone over the letter of the week and we've gone over the number of the week. And now it's time to go over the sign of the week. This week, we've been practicing how to say bug in sign language. Can you show me? That's right, friends. You take your three fingers like this, you bring your thumb to your nose, 
and move your other two fingers up and down. Bug. In the springtime, you'll begin to notice that the grass gets green again. But there's something else that you may notice about the grass. Baby grasshoppers, or nymphs, hatch from eggs in the springtime, and then you can find them jumping around in the grass. A grasshopper is an insect, and like other insects, it has three body parts. The head is at the top. On top of the head is the antenna. The thorax is in the middle, and then the abdomen is at the bottom. Now insects, including grasshoppers, have six legs. Let's count this grasshopper's legs. One, two, three, four, five, six. And you'll notice that the back two legs on a grasshopper or its hind legs are much larger than the other legs. And that's how a grasshopper can jump so high. But guess what? Not only can grasshoppers jump, they can also fly. Once a grasshopper is an adult, it uses its wings to fly. Grasshoppers are similar to crickets because they also make a chirping sound. But a grasshopper makes the sound by rubbing its back legs against its wings. For today's work, I have a really fun jumping experiment for you. Let's go see. For today's work, you will need some food coloring, a plate or a bowl, some Q-tips dipped in dish soap, and some milk. We are going to do a really fun color jumping experiment. So let's start off by taking the glass of milk and we're going to pour it onto the plate like this. I don't want to pour too much because I don't want it to overflow, but enough to fill up the plate. That was definitely the perfect amount. And next, I'm going to take my food coloring and I'm going to add some drops on top of the milk. So there's some green. I'm going to add the yellowish orange color. And you want to make sure that the colors don't touch as you are adding them on to the milk. We have some blue. You can see how it's beginning to swirl a little bit. And last we have some red. Just pour some on top. And I have a Q-tip and I just dipped it inside of some Dawn dish soap, but you can use any dish detergent that you have. And I'm going to begin by adding the tip of the Q-tip right here, the side with the soap on it, into a color. So let's start off with red. Dip it in. Oh, wow. <gasps> Look at that, how the colors began to jump. And they swirl together. Let's go over to here to the other side and try the blue. There go the colors jumping together. And what about green? Green and the yellow. Wow. Look at all of the jumping colors. They swirl and they jump together. You can even notice how they're starting to form other colors, some purple right here, a little bit of orange. Let's get back to circle time. Welcome back to circle time, friends. Before we go, can you show me how high you can jump? Are you ready? On the count of three. One, two, three, jump! Wow, that is really high. Thanks for learning with me today. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel, give this video a big thumbs up, and find me on OutSchool for my live and interactive classes. You can also support my channel by checking out my Patreon page and gain access to bonus features for your child. Before we go, we have one last song to sing. Are you ready to wave goodbye like this? Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. 
I'll see you next time. Have a great day, everyone, and I'll see you tomorrow.